we have all praised manga because the writers in the industry don't go around insulting fans, it's nearly devoid of political agendas, and the stories coming out of the industry are just good and because of these things. People have definitely been worried that one day maybe the industry would change for the worse. We'd see a massive increase in things like political correctness, stories that are meant to push agendas, and a few months ago, the manga artist behind Love Hina actually talked about the increasing pressure to introduce political correctness into manga, which unfortunately, a lot of us miss. The conference where he said this wasn't translated to English until recently, and now that it is translated, I definitely think that it's worth talking about because this is a lot of people's biggest worries, that another industry is going to be taken over and basically corrupted. So we're going to start with a Bounding Into Comics article. Love, Hina. Uh, artist warns of rising pressure from foreign markets to introduce political correctness into manga. Before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, follow me on social media like Twitter, Minds, join our Discord server so that you can see when my content is posted and one of the only ways my message and these topics are going to get to the people who really care about them is if all of you listening share this video, especially to the people you know who like anime and manga. YouTube is actively suppressing my content and not sharing my videos just like this one. Also, if you really like what I do here on YouTube, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon. All of the links are in the description, and of course, I really do appreciate all of the support. So, Ken Akamatsu, perhaps best known as the mangaka behind the extremely popular Love Hina series, recently shared his concerns regarding the rising pressure from Western markets to introduce political correctness into manga and the possible negative effects such a push could have for creators and fans across the medium. It says a vocal and outspoken anti-censorship critic in his own right, he broached the subject of political correctness during an opening panel of the recent Manga Artist Conference, an online event held last December wherein various manga creators were invited to discuss their thoughts on the current state of the industry and their outlooks on the future. It says, according to uh, a machine translation of the transcription of the panel, when asked for his thoughts on manga in the overseas market, he laughed and responded, in short, it's politically correct. It continues with saying, political correctness, external pressure is coming, such as the pressure to introduce political correctness into manga and movies, he added. That's dangerous, isn't it? He then explained, so far, when Japanese manga is at the stage of looking at the world, there is a pressure on the scene to meet more global standards. Now, when it comes to things like global standards, this is exactly what we heard from Sony. Let's take a look at this article really quickly. Sony Japan president, new censorship policies on sexual themes are to meet global standards. We've seen how Sony's acted towards anime games, sexual themes in third-party titles, and how they've treated developers. They are censoring a lot of content going onto their platforms, and this is what people don't like. There are so many people who who don't want censorship, don't support it, and are afraid to see things they love be ruined by companies who are chasing global audiences and companies who are more worried with global standards than simply good content. And let's keep in mind that these aren't even things that are being fought over in places like Japan. These political issues are only applicable to the West, and it's another example of specific people in the West trying to push woke politics a lot of us don't even agree with into entertainment. These are people who are trying to push their activism from the West into a country in the East that doesn't even have the same social norms. But continuing on with the original article, it says, I'd like to have the manga artists unify their opinions to some extent as to whether such things are correct or not, he continued. However, when the sales of works that have been become globalized and have no sharp edges are good, they end up saying, oh, political correctness might be be good. 
So it continues with saying the veteran Mangaka sentiments were echoed by his co-panelist, the representative director of Publishing House No. 9 Company, who similarly agreed, saying, Regardless of the company, I think that freedom of expression should be respected in my personal opinion. Now they're talking about artists unifying. I do think that it would be good to see artists and writers come forward and stand firm on their opinions, saying things like, We will not censor our work for your global standards but we know that they're probably afraid to be cast out of the industry to not work on any big projects again. But it says Akamatsu later remarked, if you don't go abroad, the political correctness problem isn't a battle at all, which I mentioned, which prompted someone to share his personal idea that I don't think a series will sell that much when it comes to selling itself as politically correct. This is something we've seen. Politically correct doesn't really sell all that well. Now, we could be facing a problem here because publishers might go into English translations and add the political correctness. They could also change things like feature censored art in what we get to meet these PC guidelines. We might get to a point where people look at fan translations of games and books and it could seem like a completely different product because so much is removed and censored. If we get to that point, people are gonna jump ship just like they did with comics, but unlike with Western comics, these companies are facing a fandom of people who do fan translations, and they're literally on the internet for free. This could lead to a decline in English sales, which would be good and bad. It could show the publishers that no one wants their PC garbage, but it could also lead them to doing less English translations because they're not making enough money off of it. I hope that they would realize people want faithful translations, but it could honestly go either way. And all of this is predicated on the Japanese manga writers and producers not folding on their side. I really hope that they wouldn't fold on their side, but ultimately, we wouldn't know until it would come time to see their work to see what they would change or if they would not change anything. Now, the article finishes off with saying he concluded, That's why I think it's important not to win or lose in the short term, but to always create something that you can be proud of as entertainment. If political correctness was to be pushed into manga, I think that the industry would take a huge hit because people like me would stop supporting a lot of the books released. Just like we all stopped supporting the comics industry when the push for political correctness started there too. I do not want this to happen. None of us want this BS to be pushed into our entertainment, but unfortunately there could be companies and artists who cave in and change their work. Only time will tell. I genuinely hope this doesn't happen, but we'll have to see if it does end up happening. Maybe these writers, these artists will stay true to what they believe in, or maybe they'll just be afraid of losing their careers, being um, afraid of being pushed out of the industry basically, and maybe they will cave in to political correctness. But let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.